Raptors, like, raise your hands, please. Keep them up. Uh, it's a really good team. We just played. I mean, thought they're well coached. They had great talent. Play hard. Uh, we need to be pushed. I think they exposed some stuff we got to work on. But they gave us everything we had. It was a tie game with seven minutes to go in the game. So, you know, I think our guys got to realize, like, the teams we put on the schedule, if we don't play well, we don't move the ball, you know, we, we play selfish like I thought we did tonight at times. Like, we're not going to beat some of these teams. So I thought we did a good enough job on the offensive class and, you know, defensively we were solid at times. We, we You know, they exposed some stuff on our defensive side. But we really won the game on the offensive boards. I mean, we had 21 second chance points. They only had seven. So I, I thought that, we, you know, we made a big point of emphasis on keeping them off off the uh, offensive boards. I thought we did a decent job of that. And we did a good job getting our offensive glass. But, you know, a lot of other areas. We didn't shoot well. That had a lot to do with them. Uh, you know, we, we didn't get out transition very much. They ended up with more fast break points than we did. That had a lot to do with them. I thought they had a really good game plan defensively. Now, you know, a lot of their staff came from here. Brian was with me for eight years. He's got a lot of staff. They're doing a great job. That, that's a really good roster. I thought Brian did a really good job tonight. They did a great job. I think they're going to win a lot of games this year. Start on the right with Jeff. And Darion Reed played 12 minutes in the second half. What was he doing well just to stay on the court for that extended time? And how big were those plays that he was making down the stretch to help you guys pull away? Yeah, I mean, felt like we were struggling shooting the ball a little bit. So we needed to get to the old boards. Uh, you know, he's got some athleticism. He did get to one old board. You know, I think he can be a lot better offensive rebounder. But biggest point of emphasis for, uh, for us with him in there was just the defensive side of it. Give us some length. Kid that works hard, he's smart on the defensive end. Uh, you know, he, he, I thought he helped us get some stops. You know, I didn't think he played very well in the first half, but you know, it took us a while to get him in the second half. I thought we started going around. You know, once they tied it, I think we went on a 15 to four run maybe uh, after they had it tied at 68. All there with about seven minutes to go, and I thought defensively, like he, he kind of helped us get some stops, and we were able to get out a little bit and score off some of those. Up front, Joe. <clears throat> Uh, you just mentioned that the run you went on after the after uh, Arkansas State tied it. Uh, Modi Abate gets a gets a put back and then he gets a stop uh, that leads to a Mark Sears free throws. What was your message to to the team after after they tied it? And really, what does uh, Modi mean to really the team in, in that moment? Yeah, I thought that eight minute to four minute mark was where we won the game in the second half. That steal he got and then getting out. I mean, that, so this is how we're playing. This is this is what we're supposed to be doing. You know, we we just there's again. They had a lot to do with it, but we, we weren't really playing the way we know how to play. We didn't get the ball moving like we needed to. You know, I, I thought we, we weren't able to run off stops like we needed to. So I thought we, we were able to get some stops, run on them, get the ball moving a little bit better in that stretch there. And Diabate gets the old boards, and we know he's going to play hard. We know what he brings us. And he's taking smart shots, too. I and mean, we didn't shoot very well from three. He was the only guy that. You know, he went one for one, so a little sample size, but he shot it well, you know, outside of him. And, I mean, again, Darion was a little sample size of one or two, but those two in uh, Holloway are the only guys who really shot it well. The rest of the guys, I just didn't think it moved well enough for us to shoot it great from three, but but we know what Mo's going to bring us. And then those threes are kind of bonus bonuses with him, but I think he's playing smart, taking good shots, and playing super physical. Tony. How good is it, first of all, to have Grant kind of closer to full 100%? And then how much grit did he show in this game, especially in the second half? Yeah, he was really good on defense for us. And, you know, he got to the glass. You know, he ended up with 12 and 6 and play a few more minutes than what we uh, planned on playing him. But, you know, I think he got to the rim and finished a couple at the rim, too. So we're, we're going to need him to continue to play well. We're going to need everybody to play well. But he, he, he was good. I mean, I think you saw him in right soul. You know, they've been out a while. They're, they're starting to get more comfortable. He looked like maybe he got in the groove a little bit, uh, a little bit better tonight than what he was before. He just looked really rusty on Monday. So it was, it was good we were able to get him. Hopefully, you know, both him and uh, Wright will get one more game under their belt Monday against McNeese. 
be a lot more comfortable. And kind of have some game game flow because they missed so much practice coming into the games. Like. Uh, when the offense is struggling like it was and the ball is kind of sticking, what's the best way to kind of get into a rhythm, whether it's in the next game or in this game? And I think it starts on our defense. We've got to be able to get stops and rebounds, get it out. And then we just got to make better decisions. I mean, when you go back and look at some of our misses at the rim, our way guys wide open for three. If the ball gets kicked out, they knock down three. All of a sudden we get going. We miss some one more passes. We, we spray it. Guys are wide open on one more, and we decide to shot fake, take a slide dribble for ourselves. Like, we, we got to move the ball better. So, you know, we'll show them the clips tomorrow in video. We'll get, you know, hopefully flush that out of our system, get to McNeese State, and we'll get the ball moving up there against McNeese State. Stay up front, Drew. Coach, uh, a couple of two questions. First, about Grant and his uh, defensive effort tonight. I thought he was really good both on the perimeter and inside. Uh, his mobility is, I think, a, a really big, big aspect. How big is it that he's playing his more natural position this year at the, at the four? And then second question, are you concerned at all about the free throw shooting uh, from the exhibitions and now that's carried over into the regular season? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think we've got a really skilled team to the answer the free throw deal. And I, I'm not overly concerned, but I guys need to come locked in. Like, it, it's, it's, I mean, to be honest with you, you look at the guys that missed them, I mean, Baron five and nine, he, he should be seven or eight or nine. Mark Sears is consistently over his career, been a great free throw shooter. He goes 11 to 16. I mean, you'd expect him to go shoot 14, 15, 16 to 16. So, you know, it's not like these are guys that I expect to keep missing them, keep missing them. I mean, those would be the main two culprits in my opinion. You know, we some other guys go, you know, Jaron's got to do better. He went over one low sample size again, but you know, Darian one for two. Which, you know, you can't have a lot of guys step up and go one for two, two for four. Cliff went four for four Monday night, and then he goes two for two for four tonight. Really, nobody outside of uh, Wrights will shot it the way we needed him to. So just everybody's got to be a little better. I think I think we will be. I think we just got to come in a little bit more focused. And Grant. You know, I do think it helps he's able to play a four. He's got a lot more size on our team's fours. He can attack from the perimeter. He, you know, he seems to be finding Cliff fairly well on some, on some drives. So I think it'll be good. You know, he can bounce back and forth between the four and five. Aiden sherrell has been giving us really good minutes. You know, he's been one of our best off offensive rebounders. He, he's got three tonight in the only 11 minutes. You know, he had, I think, three or four the other night. So. He's doing what we ask him to do, and I think he'll start making some shots here uh, sometime soon. He's just got to get comfortable in the offense, too. With that. Hey, Coach. Uh, LeBaron Bylan made his second start tonight, played almost 30 minutes. What have you seen from him so far this season that's allowed him to earn so many minutes? He's a great two-way player. He plays really hard on both sides of the ball. This, out of the four games, the two exhibitions, and then the two regular season games so far, this was his Worst game offensively, you know. I thought he, he like maybe pressed a little bit. They didn't they, they score to the free throw line, but we know he's gonna play hard on defense. He's got size and athleticism, so you know, and, and he's been playing the right way really since he stepped on campus. So you know, hopefully this was just an aberration on the offensive end. He gets back to playing the way we've seen him been playing ever since he walked on campus. Anyone else? Awesome. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it.